Okay, uh, First Lieutenant Corinne Swarbrick, and for a second FST, okay. and I'm a critical care nurse. Okay, spell your name for us so we get it right. C O R I N, and then last name S W A R B R I C K. Okay, um, what are we doing here today? We are teaching massive hemorrhage control to the Fijian Army and to some of the New Zealand Army. Okay. Um, now, is the massive hemorrhage control standing on its own, or is it for a larger training? What's that training? It's part of a larger training called TCCC, um, which is the Army's Tactical Combat Care course that we teach all of our medics, and so we teach it to them as well, so we can kind of get... The goal here is to train them enough that they can go back and train their soldiers back home. Okay. Um, so, have you had the chance to work in a joint situation like this before and work with other nations? So this is the first time I've done this, um, like for like AT or anything. I did deploy to Afghanistan, and we trained with some of the Afghanistan soldiers. Um, but this is the first time doing it with the Australia, New Zealand, and Fiji. Okay. Um, what's your impression so far of uh, exercise cartwheel? I think it's pretty cool. I think they're super smart. I know they kind of just went through a course as similar as this, but. Um, I think this is awesome, and I think it's kind of cool to see the way everyone does things, even a little bit different, but still the same end state, so it's kind of cool. Okay. Um, let's see. What's been the biggest unexpected success so far from all of this? Like something that has probably surprised you. Oh, wow. What's that been? Um, honestly, yesterday when we were teaching tourniquets for the first time, we learned a lot from the Fijian medics. They kind of taught us how to put on tourniquets a different way than what we have been taught traditionally. So that was kind of the first moment where I was like, oh wow, that was actually kind of like different and maybe a little faster in certain instances. So um, that was kind of the first moment where I was surprised. Okay, that's great. Um, let's see. Fire up. But the big thing uh, with pressure is everything works in triangles. So you want there to be two points of pressure from two different angles here to get your best pressure. And we also don't want the pressure to go down. We want it to go up and in because that's how we're going to get control of the bleed. Leg. And so when I finish, I have all the scars. I'm going to put this roll here because it works similar to the Israeli bandage in the sense that all the stuff that I have here holds a lot of pressure. It's hard, and she also, like her fingers probably will go numb. This is a tourniquet, not a pressure dressing, it's a tourniquet. You can already start to see that you're dressing.